Hi guys, Bricknut here. Today we're going to be looking at a LEGO City set and it's set number 60151 Dragster Transporter and it comes with everything you can see. Two figures, the stoplight um, thing, the dragster itself and the transporter lorry. So I'm going to try and lean over the camera to do this. Here's our first figure. He's depicted as the uh, dragster driver. He's got a nice looking uniform. And I do like the colours. But uh, he also has the uh, baseball cap option for when he's not driving the dragster. Nice uh, print on the helmet. Looks like he's got a bit of a graze on his cheek in there. I don't know if you can see that. I think that's meant to be a graze. Oh, there goes the baseball cap on the floor. Also included is this lady who's depicted as the uh, truck driver. And uh, exactly the same uniform apart from she's got white legs. The dragster driver's got blue. Uh, aside from that, I can't see no difference. There's no uh, printing on the back of the head either. Single face. Probably a face that's been used uh, many times before. Like a lot of faces. We can get this boring object out of the way. That's the, uh, the starting lights for the drag strip. I actually like the use of these gems as the lights. I don't know if anyone will remember. I might be just showing my age here. But a lot of fairground rides had these sort of shaped covers over the lights that, you know, went around all the rides and whatnot. That might be why I actually like that design, because it brings back that memory. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with the dragster next. So here we go. Let's see if I can uh, change position a bit. That's ah, that's much better. Right. I actually have to say, um, this set was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I bought it because it was on offer. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it now. I think it was eighteen ninety nine, and it should have been. $24.99 so um, about a six, six, seven pound discount it's, it's not often Lego comes up in the sales so uh, I do like to grab them when I can anyway here's a dragster and as you can see it's uh, spitting flames out of the exhaust they've used these noodle pieces I think that's what they're called pasta shaped pieces for the exhausts and as you'd expect it's got a nice chunky engine big fin it's using this tow bar piece as a, a wheelie bar but I actually have to say this is a well built well designed little drag car I was impressed probably because the only other drag car I got is one I think it's from the 80s and that's quite small and very simple so uh, I was quite impressed I did enjoy this build it took me about 45 minutes to build the whole set got steering wheel on there I do like the uh, I think they've actually captured the design of a drag car quite well with this the big back tyres and you know the tiny little front wheels. There um, wasn't that many stickers with this set either. There's two here on the fin, little one on there, two on here, and one on the other side. Of course, you don't have to have the flames on there if you don't want to. They do just press in. They're just the the usual piece which has been used for water pieces as well if you're wondering what all that flashy light is on my hand it's because of the um, tree out front of my apartment building 
the sun's coming through it, so it's sort of uh, flickering. It's quite a nice effect. So here's our uh, our transport. Here's the trailer. It's a brick-built trailer. It's not used one of the um, train pieces. It's got a nice set of ramps. It's actually quite a sturdy design. He says, and the mallet falls straight out of its holder. There we go. It's got a fuel tank there. A couple of warning lights either side. Tail lights on the ramps themselves. The only disadvantage is there's no fold down legs, so it just sort of sits on this piece here. I don't know, I'd, I would have just preferred some, you know, fold down legs. Here's the uh, cab, which, uh, of all the lorries I've bought from Lego, this is a totally different build. This was, um, I don't know if I actually like this front bit that much, but uh, I like the bumper, which is just this arch piece. I think that was actually a nice idea to use. Um, I do like this bit over the top of the cab, you know, the sun visor piece that some trucks have. It reminds me very much of a fairly modern American truck, which I think is actually great because, correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe drag racing is primarily an American thing, or started in America, so I think it goes together well. It just, you know, it reminds me of like a, um, a Kenworth or something, a modern Kenworth, perhaps a modern Max, something like that. Twin exhaust, no tail lights for some reason. This is one of the few that they've done that doesn't have tail lights. Got the opening doors. I know these doors don't really have much function, but I just think it adds to the detail. That's why I prefer the vehicles to have doors. Nice set of steps either side, just the same either side, you know, big fuel tank either side. Just a simple um, one of these round tiles, 2x2 two two round tiles with a hole in for the hitch. A couple of 1x1 uh, one one amber tiles up there for marker lights. Certainly one of my favourite builds, even though I'm still... I don't know. At first I didn't like it, but it is actually growing on me. The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. Uh, there is one slight disadvantage, and that's that I've gone and broken a ramp off the trailer, somehow. And that is... And that... Uh, the front wheels of the drag car, I need something to stop that from rolling. And the front wheels on the drag car only just go up the ramp. And it gets so far, and then the chassis of the car scrapes on the trailer. As you can see, because the front wheels go up in the air. So it, the, the loading is not brilliant, but it works. <laughs> it does work, so can't complain too much about it, but uh, I actually think this is quite a nice set. This is one of my favourite sets so far this year that I've bought, which uh, unfortunately hasn't been a lot this year because I've been busy and preoccupied with a lot of other things. And uh, Flat renovations are still ongoing. <laughs> um, there's going to be another week before we actually start putting the paint on the wall. Anyway, let me know what uh, you think of this set, if you have this set. And uh, I will talk to you all again very soon, so thanks for watching. See you later.